there, Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for November 10th. And starting off today, we're talking about a movie that was released in 1959. Disney's live action film, Third Man on the Mountain, is released. Um, so this film is about a young Swiss boy named uh, Rudy Matt which is played by James MacArthur, and he's anxious to prove himself by climbing an unconquered peak, um, which was sh actually shot on location at the Swiss Alps, which is so cool that they were able to shoot it there. Um, it features spectacular scenery and gets lots of credit and accolades for the scenery of this film, so it's worth watching just for that. Um, it features um, also the attraction that is based off of Disneyland's bobsled ride, the Matterhorn. So this whole movie is about the Matterhorn. Um, it was based on the, mo the novel Banner in the Sky by James uh, Kainsey Ullman. And the novel was based on a real life ascent, um, the first one of the Matterhorn in 1865. So, um, this was a difficult movie to film. James Donald, who was playing Franz Lerner, actually fell 15 feet, but he only had a few minor scathes from that fall. But then assistant cameraman Pierre uh, Terriez, I hope I said that right, uh, fell in a crevice and he actually broke three ribs. <laughs> so, that's just the nature of falls, isn't it? I mean, you can fall walking out of your doorway and, you know, get so hurt. <laughs> but then fall 15 feet and only have a few scratches. What is it with that? <laughs> uh, I think it's the way you fall, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so this film was chronicled in the Perilous Assignments episode of Walt Disney Presents. And that makes a lot of sense to me. And I'm sure some of those other, well, this wasn't a true life adventure, but some of the true life were probably in the perilous um, assignments. I'm not really sure if, if you ever saw that episode. Um, I'd be interested to know what other things Disney filmed that were perilous. <laughs> but um, Janet M Munro was, played Lisbeth Hempel, and she was the one, the love, attraction in Darby O'Gill and the Little People. So this was, I think she had a contract to do five films, so this was um, the second of five films she'd be shooting for um, the Walt Disney Studios. So such an interesting film. Gotta go check it out, especially if you're a fan of those bobsleds and you haven't seen this film. Go watch it because that's really neat and really cool and it makes me think of how over at Disneyland they used to have actual mountain climbers of the Matterhorn at Disneyland uh, when it first opened, when the attraction first opened and everything for a few years there and of course they don't have those anymore but really really cool. And then next up on this day in Disney in 1999 on this day actor and comedian Tim Allen the voice of Buzz Lightyear but also the voice of Santa in the Santa Claus movies, the three Santa Claus movies, um, is inducted into the as a Dis Disney legend. So I just thought it was such a fun tidbit this time of year, especially because some of us are starting to watch those Christmas movies and the Santa Claus trilogy is our favorite, but he was hilarious. Uh, Tim Allen as well as Bud Lightyear and we I've talked about that that I love his role and I I've said I think I like him better than Woody in those um, Toy Story films, but uh, Tim Allen does a fantastic job. So that's it for this day in Disney 